So we're going to head over to Tanya with Hunger Bomb Cookies. She's wrapping up with a customer, so we'll just give her a second here. I'm going to squeeze back there. Okay. She's slicing up more samples. It's a little chihuahua puppy. Good morning, Tanya. Thanks for being on the show today with Farmer's Market on Demand. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Nice to finally meet you as well and have you on the show. So give us a little bit of the background about how Hunger Bomb got started. And I know we've discussed already that you've got a background in diet as a dietitian. So yeah. I traveled as a corporate dietitian and I decided that the time had come in my life after my dad passed away that I was going to start my own business and I've been baking ever since I was a little girl. So I thought, why can't I combine my knowledge as a dietitian and my expertise as a baker and make a cookie that's actually good for you? And that was my goal. And that's how Hunger Bomb was born. So I called them Hunger Bombs because they help fill you up. They help satisfy your sweet tooth, but they're very low sugar, low glycemic. So they're really a healthy thing to have in your diet. So Awesome. And so what are, what are some of the ingredients that are in here that do help to fill us up? I know you emphasize like whole grains and fiber. I do. They're made with oats and chia and flax. Um, they have all the fiber of those. Most of them have some kind of a nut in them. So we get a lot of fiber, a lot of omega-3s, um, about three and a half grams of fiber and protein in a single cookie. So the idea is the fiber will help fill you up. The protein will help stabilize the blood sugar. So they're fine if you're diabetic. They're fine if you're trying to reduce the sugar in your diet or you're trying to watch your weight and still have cookies. That's the idea. <laughs> it is. So. Awesome. And what is... Absolutely. Let's try one. So um, Christmas flavors now. I have Christmas um, cranberry pecan and then I have a peppermint mocha brownie and I think you said you love chocolate so we're going to give you a taste of that and see how you feel about that. So this is the peppermint mocha brownie. Peppermint mocha brownie, yep. Still has the very low sugar. It's got some natural peppermint extract in there with a dark peppermint chocolate chip in there. So, yeah, good. A little And little coffee undertones because it enhances that chocolate. Yeah, it's a little trick we do. It's fun. That's super well balanced. I really love it. And I love it for breakfast. I've been, I have been, um, use the oatmeal chocolate chip. I layer it with some Greek yogurt and some berries and make a wonderful parfait. Get about 20 grams of protein and 10 grams of fiber. So it's a third of your daily needs and something really yummy for breakfast. Yeah, that's something to look forward to when you wake up in the morning if you get to eat cookies for breakfast. Exactly. And Pete, Pete likes a snack after dinner. No matter how healthy of a dinner I make, he's ramaging the pantry to see what he can find. So he'll frequently grab a brownie. Uh -huh. with a cup of tea or coffee, and then that fills him up and keeps yeah. him hopefully out of the pantry. We'll see. <laughs> Allie's the same way. Great. Yeah, so um, what, are we, what are we using to sweeten them? My sweetener is unsweetened applesauce, and I use agave nectar. Okay. So they both have a very low glycemic index. I do a simple, I call it my third grade science project, to show you how much sugar would be on, the, on your left would be my cookie, and then some typical bars that are out there that you might buy and how much sugar is in them. So it's, it's a good visual for people to understand just how low in sugar my product is. Mm -hmm. yeah. I love it. And I think one of the things that people often, I think, think of when they think of a healthy snack is it's not, it's going to be really dry. It's not going to have a lot of flavor. And I'm telling you this peppermint mocha brownie, it's difficult. Yeah. It's super moist. It's super flavorful. The mint is very well balanced with the chocolate and the coffee just really rounds it out and it's not too overwhelming. So are you using like brewed coffee or like caffeinated coffee? I use a, ca I use a coffee, a powdered coffee, like a freeze dried. Oh. And I incorporate that to get that flavor without diluting it down into a brewed product. So yeah, it's great. So it's going to probably have a little bit of a buzz. I mean, chocolate kind of can give oh, people no, a little not, bit of a buzz. Not noticeable. I mean, I have a lot of people that buy them for their kids for school lunches and it's, it's negligible. I wouldn't be concerned with that. So awesome. yeah, but I always keep five flavors. I do a gluten-free vegan flavor too. Oh, you do? Yeah, I do. So, um, the, you know, the customers kept asking me, do you have anything that's vegan? So I made my cranberry spice, um, gluten-free and vegan, and it's wonderful. It's one of my favorite flavors right now. I love cranberry spice. Good. So is that one of the holiday ones too that we're going to be trying? It is. Okay. Absolutely. Ready. All right. I should have started you with that because I think the mint sometimes is pretty powerful. Yeah. So it can it can confuse your taste buds a little. So we'll see how you like that. So. I love mixing all of the flavors. They're all going to the same spot anyway. So. Good. 
Well, I decided, you know, every month I'm going to roll out a specialty flavor, like a seasonal flavor. We did pumpkin spice. Now we're incorporating all the cranberries and all their health benefits. And then January usually is a big hook health push for people, you know, to get back on track with what their weight goals are, their health goals. So um, I'll be surprising them with a new flavor in January too. So fun. That's I don't awesome. want you to get bored, but I want you to stay healthy and have great delicious cookies. Super. Yeah, that's super moist. I'm pretty sure the applesauce probably helps that. It does. And it took me a while. I probably took about six months to perfect the baking process and the ingredients and the moisture content because Frequently, you can say you have a healthy cookie, but you're right. There's so much in the flax and the chia and the oat bran and things like that that can really take away the moisture, and, and you end up with something that's like a horse treat. I mean, honestly, it's dry and crunchy, and it's really not something that you want to eat. It's like it's good for you, but who wants to eat it? So I had to make something that tastes wonderful. Yeah. I think you've done it, and you said that you're also available at um, so the True North Farmers Market, the True North Farmers Market. Okay. Yeah. So if you can spell that, it's T R O O N North. So True North Farmers Market, and she's there the first and third Saturdays of the month. Right, and then I'm here every Saturday. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So so Uptown Market, almost exclusive, um, and. Um, we're probably going to be working on maybe providing a little social media online, um, you know, Facebook page for her. And we have a question from the audience. Allie? Um, do you have a website, <clears throat> excuse me, a website or any sort of online shopping? I haven't done that yet. And that's my next business goal besides get a commercial mixer because my mixer, I'm outgrowing my mixer. But yeah, I do. I, I would love to talk to you about social media and getting a Facebook page and a web page. And that'd be great. Perfect. So if people want to place orders and they aren't able to get to this market, do you take orders by email or phone? I do. They can call me at, at on my phone or it's on every bag. It's on all my literature, my business cards, or my um, email. And people just order them. And right now I'm such a young, growing business that I'll meet you somewhere and deliver them to you. Right. I just do. I'll right. do what I need to do because customers seem to love my product and then you get hooked and you want them more. So yeah. it's good. I'm definitely hooked. I love that you've combined tasty with healthy. You know, that's kind of a rare thing these days. And I think you've really nailed it. It's very um, moist. It's um, it's flavorful. It has a lot of a good flavor profile. Um, and I can definitely see myself wanting to eat those for breakfast or for a dinner after a dinner snack. Um, and what are the prices of your bags? You and how many are in each bag? There's a dozen in each bag. Uh, The main flavors that I have all the time, oatmeal, dark chocolate chip, brownie, and peanut butter are $7.99 a bag. Then the specialty ones that I do, the gluten-free and the Christmas cranberry pecan, those are $10 a bag right now. So depending on the ingredients and what the price profile is, they run between $8 and $10 a bag. Yeah, And I keep them in the refrigerator or the freezer because they're all natural. There's no preservatives in them. I was just going to ask if we could freeze that. Okay, great. Freeze beautiful. Super. Awesome. I love that. And if you have a toaster oven, I used to do this when I would freeze my cookies. Uh, You can put them in the toaster oven and warm them up a little bit, and they get perfect. Oh, that's great. And I send recipes. Like, you can make ice cream sliders out of them. I've made strawberry shortcake, my parfait. I'm very creative with what I can do with my Hunger Bomb cookies. So it's really fun. It is. So it's going to be really exciting when we can put her website up because then you guys can see all these amazing recipe ideas that you can use these as a basis for. Um, So these are Hunger Bomb cookies. I'm here with Tanya, and we're at Uptown Farmer's Market. She's also available at Troon twice a month, uh, the first and third Saturdays. And until then, we'll just have to call or email her. We'll put up the information in the comments so that if you're watching this, you can locate her. If you want to give anything out right now in the video to, for people to contact okay. you. So my uh, email address is my first initial last name. So it's T Batchy. The letters R D L D stands for registered dietitian, licensed dietitian okay. at gmail.com. And my phone number is 330 714 2621. We're going to have a lot of holiday orders flooding in, I think. Good. Mm-hmm. I'm shipping too. Thanks. Oh. Okay. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. So she's going to ship. So yeah. happy holidays, everyone. This is a great holiday treat. And hit her up with your orders. Thank, Thank you again, you. Tanya. Appreciate I appreciate it. it. Appreciate yeah, it. you did great. Yeah.